Breathe freely fast with Vicks Sinex. My congestion's gone. I can breathe again! Oh. I can breathe again! Oh. <laughs> Vicks Sinex. Breathe on. It's an all new blackish. Yes! I love that show. Tuesday, 9 8 Central on ABC. Todd, who's been putting in work brought to you by Carhartt? Well, both defenses have made plays. I was in this ball game, was in this ball game earlier because of their defense, in particular because of Josh Jackson. Two pick sixes accounted for 14 points. And then the strangest play of the game, this fumble that kept squirting around, and Leon Jacobs finally picked it up and took it to the end zone. Three defensive touchdowns in the football game, and Wisconsin about to try to add to that right now. Jonathan Taylor. Ball came out there. As they were able to recover it, that was Neville who jumped back on it. Had six total turnovers in the ball game so far. That was almost number seven. Good hit right on the football. I think it was Bo Bauer, number 41. Knocks that ball loose. Neville able to recover it for the Badgers. A helmet right on the point of the ball. Shaw comes in on second and goal. And then as often the case, they'll shift both tight ends. Strong side right, man in motions, Taylor. Shaw bottled up, lost a yard. Good goal line defense, penetration. That time by Anthony Nelson, number 98, got it across the line of scrimmage and really bottled that play up. These two teams are so similar in what they pride themselves on, being physical, being tough. I think the Iowa defense has played okay today. They've made it their share of plays. Their offense has just not given them any help at all. Third and goal. Hornerbrook to the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown by A.J. Taylor. Well, by formation, they got a mismatch. They get I.J. Taylor working on a linebacker, Ben Neiman, because of how they deployed in formation. Neiman's going to be okay against the tight end. But he's going to have a little more of a problem against a wideout. And that time, Wisconsin took advantage of the matchup and got the touchdown. They're going to be headed towards an 11-game win streak. Just steady work rate throughout. Hornibrook has been so good in the red zone this year. To the other Taylor, A.J. Taylor with the touchdown catch. Coke Zero is now Coke Zero Sugar with great Coke taste. Some people were excited to hear the news, some were skeptical. So we're not going to have the star of the show you're watching come out and say, you'll love it. No special jingle written by this week's hottest pop star. No famous internet celebs who happen to be holding the label just so. Okay, maybe just one little poor shot. The only thing that will make you believe Coke Zero Sugar has great Coke taste is trying it yourself. Ice cold Coke Zero Sugar. Try one today. Now you can have everything. The 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander with standard third row seating, one of America's safest crossovers, well equipped for under $24,000. Get $3,000 cash back and make no payments for 90 days or 0% for 84 months. Hi, so I just got off the phone with our Allstate agent and I know that we have accident forgiveness. So the incredibly minor accident that I had tonight. Four weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it.
This is not another 18-blade razor. Because this is One Blade from Philips Norelco. A blade for beards and stubble. Shape and shave any length and be your best you with One Blade from Philips Norelco. Innovation and in you. Philips Norelco. No. no. You can scroll menus for days. Or just get what you want. All your favorites you crave. One box, five bucks, no hard choices. The $5 cravings deal, only at Taco Bell. The amazing new iPhone 8 is at AT&T, and we know you'll love it. Because we know you want more. More great camera features and more power. And more than just unlimited data, we give you unlimited plans with HBO included for life. Because you deserve more entertainment. And more spokespeople. Talking like this, saying the word more. AT&T. It's, it's time for more. Am I too close? I feel like I'm too close. Get the iPhone 8, and with all AT&T unlimited plans, get HBO for life. Only from AT&T. Glad you're watching College Football presented by K Jewelers as part of Veterans Week brought to you by USAA. As Wisconsin's up 38 to 14, closing in on a clinch of the Big Ten West. Michigan State and Ohio State was a de facto Big Ten East eliminator earlier today. And Ohio State has themselves nearly mathematically locked up. You know, I mentioned how A.J. Taylor had good coverage. I want you to watch what Fumagalli does to help him out. He's going to run a route and get a bump right here on Josie Jewell before he goes out. And that bump is going to prohibit Jewell from getting back underneath the route of A.J. Taylor. The ball's thrown right past him. That little help, that little nudge by the tight end Fumagalli on his way out opened things up for the wide receiver behind him. And Hornybrook read it perfectly. He had such a nice visit with Fumagalli yesterday. He's a real big part of the leadership and talent and drives this program. Undefeated Wisconsin. Boy, do they pass the eye test when you come see him. Vandenberg the catch. Here's Cassidy. Well, Joe, Auburn now up 33 to 10 on number one Georgia. Meanwhile, things are getting interesting for number four Clemson against Florida State. James Blackman, Flea Flicker to the tight end. Ryan Izzo, 60 yard connection, and the Tigers' lead is cut to three after 14 unanswered from the Knowles this game on ESPN. Joe Todd, Holly, back to you. Thanks, Cassie. I got to tell you, that does not surprise me with Florida State Clemson only in this. I'll get to that after the play. Second and one, Stanley. Yes, they lost Francois. And I understand the freshman struggling. He's got to grow. Got, but they're still loaded with talents yes. everywhere on that roster. Defensively, Izzo's an All-American level tight end. When they click, it, it, it can yeah. still happen for them. They are still a roster filled with elite talent. And, and that's a game that they've always been yes. excited to play against Clemson. When we saw them a couple weeks ago up in Boston, they didn't look no, like they, they wanted got to be over. there. Yeah, they didn't look like they wanted to respond to getting punched in the mouth by Boston Collins. But they are punching back against Clemson today, that's for sure. Third and one for Stanley and Iowa. Incomplete. Thrown in the direction of two men, Fant and Easley. Joe, think about this now. Iowa's offense a week ago against Ohio State, 244 yards passing, 243 yards rushing. Their best game of the year. Now, their worst game before today was 231 yards against Michigan State. Today... With 6.26 left in the game, they have 55 total yards of offense. That is unbelievable. And on third down, they're 0 for 12. 0 for 12 against this Wisconsin defense. Nelson's going to let it drop in. And we remind you that coming up tonight on ESPN, we will have another game that will impact the college football playoff rankings. Second-ranked Alabama taking on Mississippi State. Mississippi State is 16. That game's in Starkville at 7 Eastern. This is how we start the day. Georgia is going to tumble. They are losing Auburn 33 to 10, and there sits Wisconsin. Miami, of course, huge chance to take a giant step forward in playing Notre Dame tonight. So, as we get ready to watch Wisconsin come on offense again here, I want to say this one thing after this play about Alabama, because we've seen it and everybody talks about them, and they'll probably be going back to number one if they win tonight. But you know what? We see a lot of crazy things happen in college football, right? We see teams that 
one week looked great, the next week looked terrible. You don't see that with Alabama. Now, they've gotten beat, but I don't recall seeing them lay an egg, you know, or really just get blown out because they weren't ready to play. I mean, that's the one thing about Alabama. They don't win every time out, but they play at a consistency, a level of consistency, I think unlike anybody else in college football over the last several years. I want to point out what Paul Christ has done here at Wisconsin in the month of November through the years. As Chris James is in at running back on second and seven, he will get some work here in the final five and a half minutes in our first down. You want to talk about being consistent. Wisconsin came in today 16 and 2 in November over the last four years. Yeah. This is when championships right. are won. Divisions tighten up. You're playing with everything on the line. And they're about to go to 17 and 2 in November over the last four years. I and you know how big the remainder of this November is for yeah. them. I, I think with Wisconsin, the thing about it that, that Paul Christ has maintained here. He was a coordinator here. He played here. He understands the culture. He understands what their identity is. And they are very comfortable being who they are and playing to their strengths. James again, junior from Chicago, transfer from Pitt. They have a roster that has 58 in state players on it. A lot of those guys that have come through here, started as walk-ons, earned scholarships. Many of them went from walk-on to scholarship to the NFL. They just, uh, they really believe in what they've got going here, and you know, they kind of have a mantra of being tough and being dependable, smart. That's how they play. That's how uh, they want their culture to be, and they have won a lot of games doing that. Here's James again. Well, it's been an outstanding day of college football, and the night is going to get even better because, of course, Notre Dame and Miami are coming up at 8 o'clock Eastern on ABC, number three against number seven. Miami 8-0, their best unbeaten start since 0-2. They're 12-0 for losing in the BCS championship game. TCU-Oklahoma will help clear things up in the Big 12. They do have a championship game in the Big 12 now this year it's gonna be a heck of a matchup too. Gary Patterson's defense Baker Mayfield and that sooner offense that has been unbelievable this season you and I say it every week and I love watching Jonathan Taylor as Shaw gets the carry here but Baker Mayfield is the most entertaining player that we have seen in college football flag comes down here And of course, last week with Bedlam, when he threw for nearly 600 yards. Look at the block in the back. Number 16 in the offense. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Three feet third down. Bedlam really changed the Heisman race, Todd, because yeah. when we pull the official voters at ESPN, Baker Mayfield is now ahead of Saquon Barkley, and he received 100% of support for first place. Well, we talk about it all the time. I mean, playing big in big games, most of your biggest games happen in this month. And Baker Mayfield has played his best in the biggest games. Jonathan Taylor is right now tracking fourth in Heisman polling, according to official voters. And when JT Barrett faltered against Iowa, and I look through the ballots every week, those who were voting for JT Barrett for second or third their votes went to Jonathan Taylor, and that's why he quickly went from off the board to now being in really good shape yeah. through the stretch here. Well, of course, Notre Dame's Josh Adams will have a big stage tonight to perform on. A lot of eyeballs watching tonight. Bryce Love had a nice game last night yeah. against Washington. And a very good defense. I mean, Washington defensively, their number is very comparable to Wisconsin coming into the ball game as one of the best defenses in the country. Crowd is responding here with just over two minutes to play of sending in the punt team on fourth and just a few inches. But Anthony Lottie will head out there. 